What's up, everybody? We're back. Uh, it dawned on me that I should probably keep you guys with me when I'm doing this kind of stuff, because I did just get attacked by pirates. I think that would have been interesting for people to see. For some reason, they wanted my carbon. Don't ask me. I don't know why that was super important to them, but, you know, whatever. They scanned me, and they're like, valuable cargo, it's carbon. It's like, um, okay. But this ship is very strong. And the cool thing was, is that since I'm in, whatever it's called, Vrykul, or whatever space, you gotta, or Right after it attacked me, another one started trying to help me. You gotta be careful of these dudes who fly near you, too. Because if you accidentally hit them... It'll be your fault. And for some reason, as you can hear, if you have headphones on, to my upper left... Now he's on my upper right. He's just gonna keep following me around for quite a while. That's why I kind of, like, shove my nose into stuff. Like, I'll get to something like this, then I'll wait for a second to make sure he doesn't pull out ahead of me. But when I get into these asteroid belts, that's what I do. I kind of, like, just inch my way in so there's just nothing but asteroid in front of me. I learned that the first time I played this game, so... Because I came out here and I was immediately in trouble. And a bunch of people started attacking me. And I was not used to the control style at all yet. My buddy Derb, he plays this... He plays this uh, in VR. Which I think probably sounds amazing. But... I can't use VR anymore. That's why I originally sold him my Oculus uh, CV1. Ah, oh, he's close to me again. Uh, because ever since I've changed medications, yeah, it makes me super nauseous. But I've got a bunch of gold, so I'm going to try to get myself to zero here. Try to stop myself. And I'm going to go like so. And... Oh, I need even more gold. Okay. See, that dude's actually got a mining laser. Unlike me, who's just shooting it with his cannons. I definitely want to get a mining laser at some point. You'll hear it every once in a while. It'll be like a continuous zap. Let's do this, man. Let's get out of this, uh... Out of this, uh, cloud here. You want my silver? There he is. I mean, I guess if you're going to run into me, it's not a good idea, dude. See how this dude came to help me? See, he don't want to deal with that either. But you got to be careful and not shoot him. Can you not? Come on now. Oh, is there more? There is more. All you gotta do is hold S, and it will automatically try to run into it. Okay, cool. 
definitely taking some damage. It's okay. That's okay. I don't exactly remember how to fix my ship, though. Oh, yeah, I, I remember. Recharge, then deflector shield, sodium, no fuel, no fuel, and no fuel. Okay, so that's a problem. Let's go back to the old space station arena. Because my shields are low. Gonna grab a little bit, and then we're gonna vamoose. You can run for the base as well if you get attacked. You can like run for the space station and go dock in there. I've done that before. Oh, I got my shields back. All right, we're good. Just gonna go back in. But there was a battle. So. Uh, because I need more gold. I need more gold. Cool is that nebula? It's out ahead of us. Cool. I'm hearing someone flying around me again. Make sure I don't hit him. Like, I could just turn on some synthwave or like some podcasts or something. See how he just drove straight in front of me right there. It'll drive you crazy. And there he did it again. Like I'm happy he was here to help me attack those dudes, but at the same time, it's like well, a lot of space out here, man. Yeah, I could turn on some synthwave or a podcast or something and just sit here mining for a long time. But I am making a video, so <laughs> after saying that to remind myself, I know you know that, but I don't want to just sit here and mine for an hour straight. Where are you? I see you. Okay. Okay, he's going to mine the one that I was going to mine. All right, fine.
Okay. All right, so gold, gold, boom. There we go. We'll fix that. We'll fix this one. It does bother me a little bit that it says compairment, but you know, it is what it is. A game like this does make me miss, uh, what was the name of that? Oh, X Rebirth a little bit. I don't think I would tell anyone to play X Rebirth personally, but I did have some interesting times with it. You know, it's a little, it's a little much X Rebirth, to be honest. The hell a lot better than Hellion was. Hellion was garbage. I did not like that game at all. Talk about nonsensical. It was like the game makes this or that game makes this thing look like a masterpiece. Like it was cool, the difficulty that they wanted to propose, but at the same time, it's like I mean. At some point, you got to understand you're making a video game, man. So, I don't know if anybody... If you were a fan of Hellion, you know, I'm not saying that you don't know what you're talking about. I know there were some people who really enjoyed playing that game, but... You know what would be cool is if you would stop following me around, man. Wherever you are. I hear him. I got to stop and back up. And then we'll see him, because he's just following me around. But they gotta make the game feel like it's, you know, it's lived in. They gotta make it look like it's like people are in it, you know? Which is not necessary. Especially in a space game. And it's following me again. To my upper left. It's literally right behind me. So we stop. Back up. Anyway, that is annoying me. So we'll go ahead and try to get just enough gold to finish off one more of these. Ooh, anomaly detector. Got something. Okay. And that's gold nuggets, so let's go ahead and analyze all these. We got a whole bunch of gold. Good deal. So. Gold. Gold. And I just need more chromatic metal, which I can get back down on the surface. Uh, tritium hyperclusters usually just give tons of tritium. You can also sell them, as you can see, but I'm just going to take the tritium. Oh, and you get antimatter as well. Okay. Which also means that I'm immediately going to go back to database. Anomaly detector. A single-use geometric beacon that probes the surrounding enemy for near-space anomalies. Such objects are highly unpredictable. I'm not going to use that yet. Uh, Gold right here. Okay. Gold here as well. And gold. 
All right. Any more gold that I can use? No. I can get you some more chlorine, though. There. And it looks like just chromatic metal and stuff that I don't have access to right now. So let's go back to the base. We'll go back to the base before any people try to come to take my antimatter. And we are going to warp from the uh, space station. So I'm also going to go and sell some of my silver, I think. Of course, I don't know what silver refines into. But hostile subspace scan failed. Ha ha. Get wrecked, nerds. I never remember which side I need to go up on. Did I go to the right place? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Let's see what kind of... See, I should have, I could have been, I should have been able to take my original ship back and put it to this. And got a ton of money for it, but no. Interesting. So, the question is, can I talk to these people yet? This is, yeah, just to add... Slots. What does it cost? Oh, it just let me have it. Okay, alright. I guess that's acceptable. I don't, I don't care about rovers and stuff yet. Starship Research. Installable ship upgrades. Purchase upgrade modules. Yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, and I can get that regenerating. You can get a launch thruster that automatically regenerates on its own. That is really good, actually. I'm going to buy that and hope that it's hope that I'm lucky. I thought I had to like get E on it. Oh yeah, it's in my exosuit. High speed launch computer. Whoa. An extremely powerful upgrade for launch thruster. Minus 20% launch cost plus 6% boost. Cool. Neat. All right. But yeah, you can get another one that'll make it so that your launch thruster will slowly recharge on its own. Uh, then we can get weapons as well. But I, I, I'm not worried about the weapons yet. Leave. Okay. All right. Where's my... Uh, oh, yeah. It's on the other side, isn't it? The terminal? Yes, it is. Let's look for free stuff real quick. Before we leave. Free stuff? Free stuff? Can I have free stuff? There's some free stuff. More nanites. Oh, there's more right here. I'm just stealing people's nav data. When I spun that chair, apparently. Okay. Whoa, that one's cool, too. Look at that. It's got, like, an articulating arm or something on it. 
That's wild. Mine's the coolest one here, though, man. Mine's the coolest one, dude. You know it. Mine's the coolest shit, man. All right. So, sell. So. Uh, navigation data. I'm going to keep that. I don't have anything. Because it's all in my ship. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, I have tons of tritium. Which I don't really want to sell. I'm going to sell this silver, though. Suspicious packet. Looking parcel acquired of an unusual transaction. The seller indicated the contained some sort of technology. Oh, I'm going to uh, just go ahead and uh, do one of these kind of things here. I would like to see where this uh, suspicious... What's this got in it? Let's open it. Warp hypercore, a high capacity antimatter based fuel. This cell harness harnesses an internal black hole generator to power starship hyperdrives across multiple warp jumps. Used for charging and upgrading. Warp hypercore. Can I put it in there? No? Okay, all right, fine. Um, I still didn't make very much money doing that. Wiring loom, I guess, is probably the best thing I could buy. So, yeah, I'm going to get another wiring loom. Let's go ahead and buy a wiring loom. There we go. And we will use that to actually upgrade our multi-tool. Because as cool as getting my ship set up, it's going to be a lot easier for me to be able to do this. And there we go. Cool. So now I have an advanced mining laser, which is far superior and will get me more stuff. Uh, the portal. Let's check for free stuff laying around. No. And we'll go back to the base. Oh, that's not what I was planning to do. I wasn't actually going to talk to you, but okay. Um, aggression symbol. Pathetic. Let's go back to our base. Goodbye, sir. So what we should probably look for is we should probably do some flying around on the base or on the home world to go ahead and actually like look for some some more important stuff like it's weird why is it saying the encoding is overloaded it's not it's not overloaded what are you doing Shut up. Hold on, let me alt tab for a second. What do you mean the encoding's overloaded? It's fine. It looks fine to me. Oh, no, it's not. It's stuck. Ever since I alt-tabbed, it stopped. Okay. So what if I alt-tab again? And then I alt-tab back in. Did you catch up? Game? Did you catch up? No? It has not. Damn it! 
Okay, well, I'm going to have to stop the recording. So this one was only 25 minutes. I'll try to remember to put this one up on its own uh, and uh, with another one. So I don't know what's going on. It's been recording just fine. So, all right, we'll see. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Sorry. Sorry again.